Hello, this is Ken Leone, National Sales Manager for Heroics, and in this brief video I'll show how to configure Longitude to monitor a SQL Server. We'll also look at Longitude's findings via Longitude events, and we'll briefly show the configuration of thresholds and actions, and lastly we'll take a look at reporting. To launch monitoring, simply select Monitoring from the gray menu bar. This instance of Longitude has already been configured to perform some monitoring, and we're going to review these settings shortly. The navigation pane has an explorer-like feel. It's here where we configure Longitude's monitoring behavior. We can see a server called Alaska. We're already monitoring for SQL and Windows issues, and also for something called a transaction, which I'll expand on in a bit. When I expand SQL Server, we'll see that we're monitoring the default instance. Let me drill. The Collections pane to the right is showing us the categories of metrics, components if you will, that Longitude's built-in knowledge base is collecting and evaluating for SQL Server issues. This is the built-in knowledge base. Notice when I select Windows, the components are filtered based on that application. So here are the Windows components. Let's toggle back to default. Let's re-monitor Alaska to show how this is built out. I can add monitoring either here or via the navigation pane. Keep in mind Longitude is agentless. In the instance of SQL Server on Windows, we're using a combination of JDBC and WMI. Notice the Explorer-like feel. I can configure monitoring at the enterprise level. I can configure monitoring on a per device level. I can also configure monitoring at an application level. I'll re-monitor the default instance. And I'm going to stick to the default. So Longitude said, hey, you want to monitor a SQL Server. You want to monitor the default instance. And let's monitor. Again, here we see on the right-hand pane the set of components that Longitude is automatically going to collect and evaluate for alerting and reporting. Keep in mind this can also be accomplished with scripting and leveraging Longitude's command line interface. The transaction I've configured is a SQL query transaction. Here we can instruct Longitude to issue a query and alert based on these results. This query is looking for lazy writes per second and alerting if the lazy writes per second enter into a bad state. Really this could be any query or any query result, a very powerful capability in Longitude. So you could even query your own application for application specific issues inside of SQL. Let's take a look at events. Longitude generates an event when a problem is detected by the Longitude knowledge base. Now this is a test server where there's not a whole lot going on, so I've set some of the thresholds very low. Here we see a problem with user connections. If I right click on this event, you can see I can configure thresholds, and we can see that the default instance for Alaska has been set to zero. Notice I can set thresholds and actions for any event here. So here I have my thresholds for both SQL and Windows Server, but I can simply filter to SQL Server. Here we see overrides for global values, and we also see where I've set specific values. Let's segue briefly to actions. I can add new actions, or I can adjust existing actions simply by clicking on the links. Here I've set up two actions, one to email on block processes, and another one to Slack on too many user connections. Lastly, let's take a look at reporting. You'll see there's a good number of pre-configured reports. Let's take a look at most frequent queries. We saw an alert earlier about user connections, so let's take a look at that one. 
Notice we can go back in time. We can also schedule the report and run it in batch. We can have the report emailed. We can export the report to um, SharePoint. Also note that Longitude publishes the reports in the portal as well. In summary, Longitude provides out-of-the-box SQL Server monitoring. The built-in knowledge base proactively monitors for problem areas by evaluating key performance and availability metrics, ensuring that your database and supporting IT infrastructure perform optimally. Thank you for watching, and to learn more about Longitude, I'd encourage you to click on the link you see here.